Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to block websites or specific web pages in Google Chrome. So I figured I'd do a little brief little tutorial about this because I think it's interesting and um, it actually does require an extension that we're going to have to use through the Google Chrome extension store. But I thought I would just do a brief little tutorial walkthrough to show you guys how to do it. And it's pretty straightforward. We're actually going to go up to the three dotted icon at the top right that will load additional settings. So you want to left click on that and then you want to left click on settings from the drop down menu. You want to left click on the extensions section underneath Chrome and then on this new window you want to left click on get more extensions at the bottom of the page. You want to type block site whips w i p s and then hit enter. So the first option here should say block site offered by whips.com. Stay focused and let block site automatically block websites of your choice. Best for a procrastination problem. Left click on add to Chrome. Please note that it can read and change all the data on the website that you visit. It will display notifications and it will manage your app extensions and themes. Left click on add extension. And if we actually go and view a little more information about this application, we can see that there's over 1.2, or I should say 1.1 million users of this extension. And there's about 12,000, it looks like 12,000 um, reviews, and they look like a pretty positive review rating. So I'm going to close out of here. So this website is actually not going to really do much for us, so I'm just going to close out of there. But I'll just show you guys generally how this is going to work. So let's say we head back over to Google, we close out of all this, and then we see there's this little circle icon at the top right, and when you're hovering over it, it's this black site. If you right click on it, and then left click on options, we can add certain websites we want to block here. So let's say we want to block Facebook.com, we can add the page. And we can actually redirect it to another page if we chose to do so, which I think is actually a kind of a cool tool here. Let's just say we redirect to google.com. And it says your settings have been changed. And then you could also do an incognito mode redirect. So the same thing, but pretty much if you're in incognito mode, it will also do it as well. And like I showed in a previous tutorial, you have to make sure this extension is enabled in incognito mode, or else someone could easily get around it. You can also import or export a list of websites in a CSV file format. So an Excel file format would be accepted here, which is pretty straightforward. You could also block certain words here, which would be kind of cool as well. So if there's any words that appear in the URL, it'll be blocked. So if you want to block a certain key phrase or search engine, you could do that. But like it warns you right here, just be careful if you only set one letter to block, it might block a lot of other web pages. You can also set active days and times that it will block web pages, which can be very useful if you have kids that are trying to study and you only want them to be able to visit certain web pages on, say, Saturday and Sunday. And then you can actually allow certain times that they can visit, like the Facebook example I just used right here. You could also set uninstall protection. So rather than just disabling and deleting the extension through the Google Chrome settings menu, if you would have to enter a password to better protect the extension. Please keep in mind that's not going to be guaranteed to keep kids out of using workarounds, but you will need to have a premium account in order to do that, which I do not believe is free. Yep, it's definitely not free, so just keep that in mind, but the free version that we're just talking about right now is. So, the moment you'll be waiting for, we're going to head over to facebook.com and when we see it just redirected us to google.com we could also change it here if we wanted to get rid of the redirect and then let's say we type in Facebook again it'll load this general page or just will say that this Facebook page is blocked by block site and it'll warn us not to try it again. Let's say I try it again. 
It'll tell us how many times we've tried to access it. Let's see what happens if we do it three times. Looks like uh, Bob the Builder's getting kind of mad at us here. Okay, so it's actually kind of funny. It keeps giving you notes, but just to give you a general idea of what it does, and there actually is more information if you click on the About section while you're underneath the Options menu. And it gives you additional information about what this application does. But definitely a nice little tool to know about. And I thought I'd do a brief walkthrough showing you guys how to use it. And I know there's a lot of other capabilities with it. But just make sure you're using the free version. Unless, of course, you want the uninstall protection and you want to pay for that. But again, I'm only highlighting the free version in this tutorial. And I'm not advocating you guys to go out and buy it. But I thought this would be a nice little tutorial to feature on my channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.